Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Gaming News. On Clownfish Gaming, we're going to talk about Kotaku. I know we've talked about Kotaku on the, the main channel, but uh, for those of you who don't know, I don't think this site is doing very well. Kotaku is a video game news site that has had a lot of controversy over the last, uh, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years for various reasons. And I think their traffic is dropping off a cliff. They're owned by a company called Geo Media, which bought the remainder of Gawker. And, uh, you know, I, it just seems like they're in trouble. One of their sister sites, uh, Jezebel, actually got sold off dirt cheap. Uh, they were trying to find a buyer for it. They couldn't find a buyer for it, uh, Geo Media, so they, they sold it off for next to nothing to Paste Magazine. A lot of these websites are imploding because the ad revenue is down this year. It's down significantly, and a lot of these video game sites have been laying people off, in particular because I think gamers are going elsewhere for news. They're going to YouTube, they're going to podcasts, they're going to social media. Uh, they don't trust websites like Kotaku. We'll, we'll talk about some of Kotaku's many, many controversies uh, in this video. But before we get into it, please subscribe if you haven't done so already for more gaming news, uh, gameplay videos here on Clownfish Gaming. We're going to ramp things up this year. Uh, I think Kotaku is probably going to wind things down. I'm actually uh, uh, looking at Kotaku now and I'm like, they're in a very similar place to where Rooster Teeth is at, uh, to where G4 TV was at toward the end, where they're getting virtually no interaction. This is a website that, according to uh, similar web, according to similar web, they're supposedly getting 11.5 million views a month, and I don't believe this. They don't have their analytics attached, so I don't believe that they're actually getting that kind of traffic. Uh, that's estimated. Yeah, it's very hard to estimate traffic now because Alexa is gone. We used to have the Alexa rankings and stuff like that. We don't have that anymore, but. Um, I don't think they're getting that because you look at their interaction on Twitter, they supposedly have 2.5 million followers, 2.5 million followers, and they can only muster up 22 likes, 44 likes, um, Call of Duty Ghost Thirst propels character to top of fanfic site, 17, 31, 24 likes. You see a pattern here like nobody is talking about Kotaku or sharing Kotaku, uh, you know, in proportion to the amount of you know followers that they supposedly have. Likewise, their YouTube channel, and this is where uh, you know I'm really, I'm really looking at it because everybody is pivoting to video. All these, all these, uh, you know, digital media companies are trying to go into video and they're trying to go into podcasting, and this is Kotaku, which supposedly gets 11.5 million views a month, supposedly, right? Supposedly, I'm grinning as I'm saying this, if, if you can't tell. Supposedly gets that. Uh, they have over 350,000 subs, 365,000 subs. They've been around on YouTube for years. And a lot of their videos, if it's not related to the Steam Deck, the Steam Deck videos get like 30, 40,000. If it's not related to the Steam Deck, 871 views for God of War Ragnarok DLC. 772 views. <laughs> Uh, the best reveals from the Game Awards, 1.2 thousand views. Like, I love you guys on this channel. I really do. We're just trying to get this channel off the ground again. Um, but we're getting more views on average on our videos. And we have like a tenth of the subscribers that Kotaku has, right? So they're not even, they can't even YouTube correctly. I'm like, I, for the amount of subs that you have, Kotaku, you should be getting many, many times what you're getting. 671 views on this Marvel, this highly edited Marvel video. Another Marvel Snap Deck, 901 views. Uh, Award-winning VR game is challenging gender norms. This sounds like a very, a very Kotaku video, 3.1 thousand views. Okay, so you add to their Social Blade, and Social Blade is a site, for those of you who don't know, where you can check and see how many views per day a, a YouTube channel is getting. 22,000 views, 9,000 views, 10,000 views. They had a good day. Uh, the day after Christmas, they had 24,000 views. That's a good day for Kotaku. Uh, last Friday, 2,000 views. These numbers are very, very similar to what we saw with G4 TV before the end. And, um, 
you know, for those of you who don't know, G4, they tried to come back. Uh, they spent a ton of money. Comcast spent a ton of money trying to get this uh, G4 off the ground again, and they failed miserably. They couldn't crack YouTube. They couldn't make a go of it on social media. They had their uh, on-air personalities out there given their hot takes, which drove people away. And uh, they shut it down. And I think it was under less than a year. And this is after they spent, I think, $25 million just on their uh, facility. They had like an esports arena slash studio and they were going to do all this stuff. And they're getting their, their butts kicked by people that streamed out of their basements at home. You know, and Kotaku's kind of in a similar place uh, right now. I don't think it's, it's uh, <laughs> I don't think it's looking too good for them. Um, just recently, Kotaku went after MAGFest and uh, MAGFest made fun of them, put a 404 error on their poster because I guess Kotaku went after MAGFest, claimed that MAGFest was a super spreader event uh, during the pandemic because they dared have a convention during the pandemic, even though they were, were kind of uh, went above and beyond uh, required protocols you know, masks and vaccines and all that stuff. Uh, they were basically saying, hey, you got to do all this and that. And Kotaku still like, you had no business. You had no business. No business whatsoever having a convention. So uh, their journalistic integrity got called into question at the next uh, the next MAGFest. I, I, would, I would call them out too. Um, they had been blacklisted by Nintendo <laughs> for basically telling people to go out and pirate uh, games, which games, if I recall correctly, I think it was it was a Metroid Dread. They're telling people to pirate it, and now they're making ridiculous digs at Nintendo, or they were making ridiculous digs at Nintendo. We had one of their their writers uh, comparing Nintendo to Japan during World War II. Like, what the frick? And this is not new for them. I mean, this is going back to 2015. You know, they got blacklisted supposedly by Bethesda. I mean, they're constantly getting themselves into trouble. Um, I still think Troy Levitt, who was uh, the lead developer on Hogwarts Legacy, needs to go after them because they're the ones who uh, pointed out his YouTube channel and tried to tie him to Gamergate into the uh, the alt-right. Troy Levitt, they tried to, to paint him as being some kind of like a neo-Nazi or something. And uh, because, you know, they didn't like Hogwarts Legacy. They didn't like the fact that J.K. Rowling was uh, making money off of video games, even though Lego had a Harry Potter game out there, and I, I just saw um, something at Walmart. They're doing uh, Harry Potter downloads or something. I forget, some kind of a snack food or something they're doing, uh, you know, some kind of a tie in with that. So, never mind all that, right? Uh, they had to go after Hogwarts Legacy, and they dragged, uh, you know, um, they dragged uh, poor Troy Levitt through the mud, and uh, he wound up stepping down from his job at uh, Avalanche, and the game went on to sell very, very well. In fact, Hogwarts Legacy is one of the best selling games of 2023. It might actually be the best selling game of 2023. Um, but I'm just saying, like, Kotaku is just, they're done, man. Like, I don't understand if they're not getting gangbusters traffic on their website, you know, to keep them in business. There, there is no way they're making any real money on YouTube. You cannot make money on YouTube and average under a thousand views per video. And when you've got a website like this, that's supposedly getting 11, 11.5 million views of visits a month, and you're pushing those videos to this audience, you should be getting substantially more. You should be getting substantially more traffic than this, but, uh, uh, off your videos, but this is not sustainable. They're saying, well, if they're lucky, if they're lucky, they're making between 78 and 1200 bucks in a month on YouTube. And how much do they spend to edit those videos? You know, I just don't think this, <laughs> I don't think their corporate owner is going to keep them around much longer. I mean, this is, I just, I don't see it happening guys. So this might be how we kick off uh, 2024 with the sale or shutdown of Kotaku. Uh, I don't think a lot of gamers would miss them. Would you miss them? Have they ever been, well, maybe when they first started, maybe when they first started, they were actually kind of legit, uh, but uh, they definitely are not now. Same with Polygon. So many of these, these uh, websites that have been uh, overrun with activists, in my opinion, these people put activism before journalism and they definitely uh, put their social talking points above any uh, any talking about uh, video games a lot of them don't seem to know much about video games 
Um, it's just a platform. It's a platform for them. And, um, you know, they can do activism on their own time. They want to go start their own website. And so these people from these websites have been, you know, laid off like Waypoint and whatever. They went and started their own website. If you want to do that, that's fine. You know, and as long as you're up front, you're like, hey, we talk a lot about politics or whatever. And there is a, there's a demographic for that. I don't know if they're going to buy anything, but I mean, there are people that will listen to that. But uh, most gamers, they just want straight up video game news. Just give us the news. Give us the news. That's all you got to do. It's not hard. What happened today in video games? Uh, keep your hot takes out of it. So there we go, guys. Uh, I think we're reaching the end of the line uh, for Kotaku. I really do. So we're going to wrap this one up, I think. Please subscribe for more gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. We'll talk later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effer up. Yes. <laughs>